Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part seven of my university challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And it's now Tuesday morning and we've had our first set of classes. Everybody took notes. They did well. And now we have three students going for the 930 classes and everybody else is like doing their own thing. And I just quickly check Edward's schedule to see whether he should just come home. Ah, yeah, he should. Or actually... He should hand in his presentation because he doesn't have a class for a while. So he should just get his presentation done, which is excellent. So we're going to give his final presentation because you have to do that at certain times. And let's check with, I think Bonnie actually has to do her work. Yeah, she doesn't have anything per, like done and ready to go in. So she should really come home, not sit there and play the violin. I don't know what her needs are like. Um, your presentation is downstairs, I'm pretty sure. So we're actually going to grab that and just bring it upstairs just to make it easier. And then you can come here and refine and organize that one. And your class is at 1.30. So that works. Now, Declan has gone to his first class, I believe. Yep. And now he needs, he has his classes not till well later in the day. It's 3 p.m. So he has the whole day and his knees are okay. And he's sitting there reading because he's a bookworm, of course. So he likes to read. And is there any skill you might like to read? Because there are any, well, I was going to say, is there any studying you can do? But you know, the other thing you can do, oh, he has some talent points. So why don't we use those for him? And I'm going to do this Master Duelist because we're still working on that. I'm going to do the same one with the Practiced Practicality. And then I'm going to have him come here and do this Moat Hound. Not because I want it, but because I want to move up the line there. So there we go. He's used those up. We could try um, checking here for gigs. Not so much for doing, just to see what time the gigs are at, because I want it to co-respond with like an evening and whatnot. So we're waiting to find out those results. So that's Thursday at 7 p.m. That's the audition is Wednesday at 12. Hmm, that's a problem. I could be a problem. Yes, that does not work. <laughs> he can't go to an audition at 12. Yeah, he might struggle a little bit with this. He needs to work up his uh, his his fame so that he can skip the additions. He can't do anything with that. Can I? Does he? I don't even think he has any fame, or maybe he's one star fame. Yeah, he's like barely. He's got a star. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do this corporate partnership. Though actually, this is the one we want him to move up. Because we need him to get to here where he bypasses the auditions. But I don't think he's going to have much chance of this. Any single skill or career-based action can catch attention. Yeah, by honing. Uh, we'll just do that anyways. Why not? And he can't do anything with that. He could go up here and... See, I just... Those are really the easiest things. <laughs> Those tracks are the easiest things to do. Did he... He joined this group. He needs to create an impressionistic painting. Gain a level in any and complete a realism painting. Well, let's put him onto the painter extraordinaire. He doesn't have a class for a while. And... I'm going to just submit both term papers after his second class. So we're going to come here and cloud gaze briefly. Because if he sells the paintings, that will also help his, help him with his fame. So that's why I'm thinking, like, what's an easy way for him to get some fame? And so she got her presentation done. Yay for that. So let's take it. It is excellent. So we're going to put that into her inventory. And she, the presentations for the class that's still coming. So, and then she hasn't had any of her classes today. So she won't be able to really put them, do them till maybe tomorrow. We'll have her go out and do her presentation. And then she can do her paper, which she has actually done her paper. She just ne needs to submit it. So she's actually doing okay. The ones who are Bonnie 
and Freddie are the ones who are behind in terms of like the extra work that they need to do. Freddie still has to finish writing his paper and he has to, um, you know, refine it. And Bonnie has started both her paper and her presentation, but she has, to, well, she's working on refining that one right there. So that's good. So we're waiting for him to become inspired. And yes, they're starting the fire. You, you don't need that fire. So can we magic? No, Infernate doesn't work. Put out. When is your class? It's in eight minutes. So good. So you're going to be going to class. You kind of could have used a scrubberoo of yourself, but I think we're just not going to worry about that. And you should just go to your class. So we got the turned in homework and they did very well, all of them. So yay for that. That means Grant is done and Grant could do his presentation, assuming he's, where is Grant? Oh, he's, he's there. Let's wait for him. There we go. And Abigail is off to class. So we're going to have her take notes. I'm pretty, I didn't think, well, is she going to class? Yes, right. Hers is now. And Bonnie. Okay, so we're going to actually take notes before we do anything else. She's already taking notes. And I'm going to just make sure no one else has classes right now. Freddie does. Freddie, you need to go to class. I assume that's you supposed to be at university class. So go on, go into your class. Good. So you can take notes. All right. So they are done with, we have the three who should be at class, at class and taking notes. Now Grant is done with his courses for the day. And then he has classes obviously tomorrow and he's going to have to do his homework for his class, which he's doing right now. But I think... We're going to take a look for his presentation and we're going to have him give his final presentation since he has gone to the class and then he can do his homework when he gets home and he'll be done for the day. Edward, you should just go home because you don't have a class for two hours. So there's no point hanging out here. That doesn't really help you very much. Declan, what you're, oh right, you're cloud gazing. So let's go check in with Declan. He doesn't need to cloud gaze anymore. That should help his, his fun. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to do a impressionistic painting. We're just going to do a small one because we just want to get through the paintings that we need to do. And we do need to go to his class, which is in four. He has a while till his class, 3 p.m. So he has only the one class. No, he had one this morning. That's why <laughs> it was like. 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. So like the whole day in the middle does he, he has. So Bonnie, you're working on your paper and you do have a class in two hours. That's what you're working on. But you won't be able to probably go present it today because the presentation times. Let's just take a look. Give final present. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't tell me. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to try to do it because, you know. Um, so Colleen... She needs to give a presentation and that's the class she's already gone to and the other ones are exams. So hers must be in her inventory. So here we go. So in it's excellent. So she is going to give her final presentation. I know there are certain hours that you can go for and that's not telling me, but I think it's more when it's outside of hours then it'll tell you what the hours are that you could do it. So it's not actually showing what her... Her, what she get, what she can do. Sorry, no, you don't need to start a fire. <laughs> no, I said no. So you have to submit a term paper, and you've already gone to that class. So you could just submit that and get it over with, and then you could do your homework. But there's not as much rush because you don't have to do it within certain within the office hours, unlike with the presentations. So university term paper. And it's outstanding. So we're going to submit it because he's done with that class. And then he may as well do his homework. And then he's, you know, kind of done with that course pretty much. So you're going to do that homework and be all done. So I'm going to make a note that Edward went to his class. And he, oh, he, no, he can't. Oh, he, 
Oh, look at that. He uh, he can do some stuff, but I the problem with doing the homework is that he may um, that may not work so well. <laughs> That's all. Oh, she's going off to class. And it is excellent, so we'll put it her in in her inventory, not to do anything with it. But she can go off to class. Yeah, the spell, I think it's spellcasters who tend. That's one thing with the spellcasters; they tend to put on their their uh, the, light the fires a lot. So turned in great, confident, confident, confident. So they all did well with their classes. So Nora has done her first class for the day, and her next class is at one thirty. And Abigail has done her class, her only class for today, and she did well. Bonnie is at 1.30, and just taking a look, who's done, just so I can make a note and mark it off. They've done their classes, and they did well for the day. So Nora is home. Let's check her needs. She, right, she needs to scrubberoo herself. So magic spells scrubberoo and then we should magic always use brooms i'm not sure why she wasn't set for that already and her presentation must be excellent because i put it away <laughs> uh yeah but she doesn't have time to do anything with it so he's done this picture yay so we are going to sell to collector I don't know what he's doing there. Chatting. Do you need some social? No, not really. <laughs> You're okay. So he got his impressionism painting done. So now we need to do a realism painting. So we're going to do a realism. And we'll just do... We'll do a medium one, I guess. And then you have class in almost two hours. Under two hours, I would say. And he wants to paint an abstract painting. Well, we can pin that. Where in you, maybe you'll get your painting up and then you'll gain, do this part about gaining the art skill. And if you don't, then maybe we'll have you sing. That should count, really. So that's normally, we're gonna change these to taking notes. And Freddy is doing his homework while he's out. Cause I do find they often do their homework when they are out. Let's get this out of the way. But he could really come home. He's got to do this presentation. And it's excellent. So he could give his final presentation. There's enough time. Just triple checking that he doesn't have any more classes today. No, he doesn't. So he should go do his presentation. Because it is excellent. But he has his paper still to work on. But that's not so hard to do off of hours because the presentation has to be done during classes. So like during like the days, whereas you can attend in the other. So we have three of them at classes and we're just kind of doing their thing. So everyone is done with school for the day. So we're going to actually take them back to the library to try and get the rest of them enrolled in Brainiacs, just so some of the stuff they do will count towards it. And then I'm hoping we have time to go get our three registered into the debate society. I don't know about, I'm going to look at them. I want at least two of them to go into it. I'm going to check and see which ones seem to be the best fit for it. But uh, and it doesn't hurt if they don't make it up the ranks. It's not a big deal. I just want at least them to do one of them. So I will be back when we get to the library. So we're here and I'm going to have Bonnie right away asked to join the Brainiacs. And then Edward, he needs to also. I'm just looking to see who he can ask to join. He already has the ability. Yay. And are you only in? Yeah, you're only in the bots events. So do you know him? You can ask to join the Brainiacs too. And you need to, I guess, do a polite introduction. So we have Edward is part. So we got one who had success. Bonnie is a part. And Freddy is a part. Good. And now let's ask to join the Brainiacs. Yay! 
So we're all in the Brainiac, so good. So now we're going to go over to the Brightchester campus and try and join the debate guild for our three who go to school there. So I'll be back. So we're here on the campus, on the Ubright campus, and I'm actually going to take all of our non uh, Ubright students and have them go to a guest lecture and I'm actually not going to have a go with because I sometimes have had problems with that. It may not be an issue anymore, but I'm just going to not skip it anyways. So we're going to just just have them go. So there, because this is part of the aspiration that they need to do this. They have to attend three guest lectures, and I have swapped them already, all but Declan, onto that aspiration. I had had Declan painting, but she's already done that three paintings while started, and he didn't finish the painting, so we don't need him on here at the moment. So we're going to put him back, or put him over to academic. He's not been on it before, obviously, so can we come here and cheerful introduction and you're gonna do a cheerful introduction and then we need Colleen to do the same and then we probably should rally the troops so you're going to ask to join the debate guild you're going to rally the troops Declan, you're going to ask to join the debate guild. Have you done an introduction? Nope. Do a cheerful introduction. Okay, now Declan, did you ask to join? Nora is a member. But, so Nora is a member, so she can go off to go do this guest lecture. Attend a guest lecture. She's going to do the the lawyer, the law one. And we'll focus in on... Are you not going to do your lecture? Oh, good. Declan is part of the debate guild. So he can go off to do the lecture. I think you have till 7 to do it. He's going to do on the this one. I should have done the law, the education one for Edward. But we can still do that. That's not a big deal. So now you've introduced yourself. I need you to ask to join the debate guild. And hopefully you get a yes. Yep. So you're going to come here and attend a network design. And hopefully they're not all going. Why did you not go? Try this again. Especially these two because they're going to be having a hard time doing this later. Because they're going to do the... Uh, they're just not really listening to me. Colleen, are you going to the guest lecture? You are supposed to be. You are not. Attend guest lecture. I don't care what you're doing. Just go attend it. <laughs> just trying to be quick. Edward, are you going? You're doing keg stands. Ah, that's my problem. My bad for putting that down in the basement. You guys probably need to be reset. I don't know that you're going to get into this. Reset. And that reset them both. Okay, so... I think they're not going to get to this, but we will... We'll try and get them to do it together. Because I need them to both go. And I don't know. It's only till 7, so whether it lets them get in there, based on the fact that I tried before 7, I'm not sure. If not, they can do their homework. Oh, they're all there. So they're all there. So we'll wait for them to be finished, which will be at various times. And I'll be back. Well, they all got finished. And I think they're all enrolled in everything that I want them to be enrolled in. So they've got one of three guest lectures attended. So we're going to try and do that again tomorrow. But we can do that from our home lot because we shouldn't need to go out. Because I think we want to focus on getting these guest lectures done and just they can do whatever they can do for their, for these, these being the organizations at home. I had not been having luck with attending a class while focused. We shall see if we have any luck 
with that when he when they go to class next but that is going to be it for this part leave a like if you like the video it really helps with the algorithms thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye